Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Is it your first time, please? Consider subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to click that notification bell because it will be very important for you to be updated when we upload a new video. And yet, I got another question yet in the comment section and it's all about what you call what is the role of a security guard during fire? Yes, that is a question. I think most of the time people have been demanding for me to give them the right answers. Uh, what is the role of a security guard during fire? Remember, when we are talking about a security guard, when we are looking at security, and we are looking at the security guard, a security guard is just a person, maybe hired by the government. This person may be hired by what you call an entity. It can be a private company to secure property, secure people's life, and also to secure information. That is what is the role of the security guard. And some of the responsibilities that we looked on, we looked at earlier on, the responsibility of the security guard is supposed to be visible, is supposed to be there in times of emergency, good communication skills, or could be able to communicate, should be able to protect information, and should be able also to protect people's lives and the property depending on where he's being posted to work that is what you call a security guard in today's video let us look at the roles of, of a security guard looking at what does that person what does that person is employed as a security guard do in case of fire remember when we are talking about the role of fire i want to talk about the fire it is your responsibility as a security guard when you are doing patrol to check all the visible corners that you think can be hazardous, can be disastrous, can cause dangers to, to what you call a client's property. So as you are patrolling, you make sure you take note of visible, you take, the, you take note of all those areas. Be quite visible, be alert, and look at all those areas that you think can be uh, can facilitate what we call fire. And remember, it is your role as what we call a security guard to do the patrolling, to take the necessary notes, and to inform the necessary or to inform the relevant authorities about that. And another thing that people forget as security guards, if you are patrolling, it's all about the fire extinguishers. It's very important as a security guard to know the fire extinguisher. Know where the fire extinguishers are stationed in the building. It may not be in the building. It may be a particular uh, uh, location where you are placed to work. You should definitely know where the fire extinguisher is. That in case of an emergency, you definitely, if it is an emergency that you can attend to, it is you know where to start from. It's not all about knowing how to use the fire extinguisher, but you do not know where the fire extinguisher is stationed. In buildings, in uh, side places, in uh, malls, in any building, there must be a station for fire extinguishers. And something still I need to remind you, you should be able to know which is a functional fire extinguisher or which is out of function. You can identify by the colors. So it is your role as a security guard. That in case of an emergency, in case of an emergency, you know what to do. You have a part to play in one way or the other. So we are going to look at what we call fire. What is your role in case of this fire? Remember, when we are talking about fire, we shall have to mention one word that is called race. It's called the fire fire is called the fire action plan or the fire action, which is called race. When we are talking about race, we are not meaning a human race. We are not differentiating one of or one or we are not differentiating ourselves regarding color. But in this time, we are talking about race in what we call a fire action. And each of these letters defines O. It will define, it will tell you what to do. It will give you an action. It is represented by an action. Let us go straight. First of all, look at letter C. 
Letter C is what you call rescue. In case there is fire in the building, in case there is this man, man fire, and you can try to rescue in a particular capacity wherever you are, you rescue. Remember, you need to alert. You also need to alert. That is letter A. You need to alert your supervisors. You need to alert the building management. You need to alert 99. You need to alert those people responsible. How do you do it? By shouting, fire, 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 fire. You need to alert them. You need to let them know what is happening. That stands for letter A. You alert. You can pull what you call the alarm or what you call the, the, the uh, you can pull the alarm station. You can try to pull it to let the building know there is fire in the building. To let people know aware there is fire in the building. You are alerting. If there is need of evacuation, people will start evacuating. If there is no need of evacuation, an announcement will be named three times and people will need to know there is no need to panic, there is no need to get out of the building. So you need to alert, you need to alert. It can be alert by either calling your control room, calling your immediate supervisor, controlling the, calling the building management, or even using what you call your radio. You'll use what you call the operation tools you given to you. That is why it's always very important for you to move with the radio with you all the time. It is your operation tool, by the way, you shouldn't forget. Because in case of an emergency at that particular time, it will become very easier for you to communicate. It will become very easier for you to pass on the information. So that is, that is your role and responsibility in case that emergency or fire comes out. Then C, let us see, is what we call confine, what we call fire. How do you confine? By closing all the exit doors. Try to close any door that you come across, in case you can. In case you can, try to close any door that you can. Remember? It, take note of this. In case you can't close that door, close it. Then let us see, is what you call extinguish. You can either extinguish the fire. In case you feel you have enough confidence. If you feel you have you if you feel you are confident enough to extinguish that fire, do so. If it is a minor fire and you can do it, do so. Still, if you are not confident, definitely the only way is to evacuate who you can evacuate at that particular time. Who you can help using the nearest case using what you call the evacuation plan. All these buildings have what you call evacuation plans. So that is what I have to let you know. That is what you call a fire action. It is represented by res. R meaning rescue, A meaning alert, C meaning confine, and E meaning to extinguish the fire in case you can do so. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel. Remember, see you again in the next video. By the way, do not forget, I'll put all the, I'll put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.